I ended up leaving sixth form due to uh, me suffering with Tourette's syndrome and I couldn't sort of get on with the sixth form life. Holly, when she first came to see me, was ticking quite a lot because of her Tourette's. She was very unconfident, very nervous. The Tourette's impact was awful. Um, it put a quite a big barrier on confidence in my social life and a lot of things in my daily lifestyle. She was a, a young lady who uh, suffered bullying at school. She found it very difficult to engage in any sort of training or education or, or job. She came to us actually for an apprenticeship and when we interviewed her for the apprenticeship she was unconfident and really wasn't right for an apprenticeship. She needed to um, get her confidence back and, and get some work experience so we thought a traineeship would be great for her. It was great because um, it felt like I was being accepted for something after all the struggle that I'd gone through. Um, and being accepted just felt amazing. Traineeships provide an essential uh, stepping stone for, for a lot of young people into the world of work. It eases them in and gives them the, the support that they need really to, to enter the careers market. I got my mentor um, that I could regularly speak to. All the people um, who did the providing of the traineeship was wonderful for support wise. Um, I also got help with, because I struggled obviously with the socialising and uh, dealing with everyday life stuff. Um, I use I was scared of using buses, so I got um, a mentor to take me on the bus back and forth in the beginning. She's learnt to manage her Tourette's better, she's learnt to manage her medication. After a short period of time I started to see a lot of changes and I could do things for myself, which I hadn't done before. Without doing the traineeship in the beginning, I probably wouldn't be here now because my socialising skills, I was scared of everything and everyone. When the traineeship was finished, I got offered an apprenticeship in the same department I did my traineeship with. She's been able to do full-time apprenticeship, which she couldn't do before. She's got skills, qualifications, and she's now in a job. I then um, got offered a um, part-time position in CareLink. Um, it's an emergency call handling department. She's a very valued member of staff in the CareLink team. I enjoy it. It's very interesting. There's a lot of different things you encounter. Her journey has been astonishing from where she started from to where she is now working for the council. Basically, I was like a caterpillar in a cocoon sort of thing. I was sort of sheltered away from the world and now I feel like a free butterfly. <laughs>